All right, uh, all. Gonna have a little review here. Again, on my Nexus 7. Uh, this is AOKP, and we're gonna go through it. As you can see, I do like the bears. Um, so, we're gonna go into here. This is AOKP, again, like I was telling you, on the Nexus 7. Um, this has a uh, pre-installed Nova Launcher. You can see right here, Nova Launcher settings. And I've already played and tweaked with it a little bit just so I can kind of get through all of, all of the settings on here. I'm gonna show you a couple of the things that it does. So we'll get into that. Um, this is a Nova Launcher thing right here, this mic, which is kind of cool. It opens up Google Now, which is kind of nice. Um, show you the apps that come with it. Pretty much here, pretty much stock except for Super Su and Nova Launcher. Um, otherwise, pretty much your stock, your stock stuff. Same with your widgets, stock. A couple AOKP things like clock, uh, stuff like that you'll see in here. But other than that, it's pretty much stock. Um, got a little widget there. Got your clock up here if you like that. So those are the things you got there. Um, now this is kind of cool as you can see I have an Android dude in here um, so this is actually like you can change the wallpaper on your notification pull down I think that's pretty cool um, I like it I like those kind of modifications you can see there's some toggles in there too by his head uh, if you want to toggle your Wi-Fi Bluetooth that kind of stuff sound rotation all those goodies also you can change the uh, carrier name which I changed mine right down here to say Tom SGT123. So let's go into some settings on this thing. Um, pretty much all you have is your standard jelly bean settings. The only thing that's really different in this is the themes, which you can download themes from Google Play if you want. And the ROM control. ROM control is the coolest part of AOKP. Um, there's a lot of customization. So let's go through some of those. Uh, first off, um, we have your performance settings, which can go anywhere from 100 megahertz to 1500 megahertz. And you can slide back and forth and adjust these settings however you want to go. So, um, that's pretty cool. You can do your governors, your scheduler, change those things. You got some voltage settings here. You can go through and change if you would like. And some free memory and set at boot and things like that. You can also schedule a reboot every day if you would like. Um, just so your device automatically reboots and kind of cleans things up for you. Uh, so that's performance. Next we're gonna go to weather. And I have enabled weather um, in different parts of my status bar, like here. Right at the very top, I have weather built in there above my Android Dude. So that's pretty cool. Automatically goes into your notification pull down or status bar, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can change some other weather things. So different places you can have weather on your uh, lock screen, things like that. Uh, so we got some sound. Um, so one of the things that's cool with sound is you can hit your volume up down and you hit this other button. Now you can change your alarms, notifications, and main volume. So that's kind of a nice little tweak that you can do with this kind of stuff here. You can also look at some Bluetooth connection things, headphone plug-in actions, things like that. Uh, signals. So this would be color of your icons up here in your in your uh, status bar. Um, color of Wi-Fi or signal. And you can hide things and do different stuff like that in these settings. Here's, uh, let's go back here. Here's your toggles, and you can pick two styles. You can go with this style layout or this style layout. See, I can hit this and should change my layout style. So now you got buttons like that on there. Um, so that's nice. Let's see what other things you can do in ROM control. Clock, you can have it on the center, which is what I have right here, center clock. You can change your color of your clock. Um, let's go with like a green or something. There we go. So now you have a green, which is a little hard to see. 
so we're going to go back to stock and go with that um, <clears throat> so you got those things you got your battery which I leave as a percentage but I also have this bar up top which is actually a battery bar as it drains down battery drains down and that can be set right here uh, battery bar location and just put status bar and it'll go up to the top you can also change the thickness of it anywhere from 1 DP to 4 so you can see it will make it a little thicker or we can make it thinner and it's harder to see or we can make it thicker so that's pretty cool I like the note that uh, battery bar it's kinda nice you could actually then get rid of your percentage if you wanted so we could go up here to battery style um, where is it at battery style and we could say hide and now why even have it because you have the bar across the top so eh, it's options you can do um, see what else we got really quick here we got your navigation stuff so these buttons down here we can edit their colors their transit transparency their little kind of effect when you click on them um, whole bunch of stuff in here if you want to get into it let's do uh, colors really quick just so you can see it um, see if I can get one of these colors here and about like that I think it's pretty nice alright so now you can see that they have changed to blue so that's the kind of stuff you can do with them change all that kind of things around uh, power menu we got screenshots enabled and nothing else there but I'll show you how the power menu works just hold down your power button and you got it so you got screenshots you can hit screenshot if you want take a screenshot um, let's see what else we got in here ROM controls lock screen so here's where you can change right here choose lock screen wallpaper which I had that bears wallpaper on there and it's where you can do that you can change your pins you can enable music volume rockers all that kind of stuff calendar information a um, whole bunch of things like that um, lock screen text color if you want to change the color of the text that's all in there too and last is general I use so we have boot animation you can disable it you can install another boot animation from right here um, it says there's nothing there right now but you can do it you can change your carrier label right there choose notification background that is where I picked my little Android dude right on here so that's pretty cool right there um, just some other rotation thing LCD density if you want to adjust it uh, force tablet IU mode haven't played with it yet it requires a reboot so I'm not gonna right now but you could check that out also and yeah so yep yeah, that's pretty much uh, AOKP on the Nexus 7 ton of customization oh yeah you have this button down here you know that's you know, cust recent stuff so we'll go to settings ton of customization ROM controls is the coolest part about this ROM that I'm finding um, it is clocked to pretty good speed but it's definitely the ROM control that really gives you all the customization and functionality on here yeah, like I say it comes with Nova Launcher install something else if you want like Apex which is what I really like but Nova Launcher is pretty nice too it's got some good transitions so there you go guys that's my review of uh, AOKP on the Nexus 7 uh, go check it out Thanks.